Hello everyone, my name is James and welcome back to the Easter Egg Hunter. So towards the latter part of 2015, we covered Super Mario Secrets in other games. And over two brand new episodes, we will do the same thing, but this time covering The Legend of Zelda. And for our first instalment, we'll be covering eight individual secrets spanning eight different titles across seven different platforms. Polytron's indie title Fairs is an absolute joy to play, challenging mentally yes as there are a large number of puzzles to crack and not obvious at the best of times. Luckily though we won't need much to work out that the poster hanging on Gomez's bedroom wall is taken directly from the original Legend of Zelda title screen on the NES. The treasure chests and animations are certainly inspired by the games, plus Dart, a four-dimensional hypercube and companion during Gomez's journey, is a reference to Navi. Plus, just before exiting the village to the vast open world beyond, Dot will reel off one of Navi's classic lines. In Yoshi's story, a family favourite from the past, page two is set in the cavern. By picking either level three or four, and three in my case known as the jelly pipe, you will find the entire stage's background and foreground for that matter have been put together in sort of like a collage using newspaper clippings, referencing Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, Mario, Yoshi, Luigi, and of course, Zelda. Link over the years has paired up with his trusty steed opponent on many adventures, including the Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and perhaps one day in Zelda Wii U. During LEGO City Undercover on the Wii U, there are no horses by that name, but you could always hijack the city bus that has been named after our friend. At any time during the Super Nintendo classic Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, head into Bazaar's general store and pick up the shell for sale for five coins. Now speak to Bazaar again and he will ask you what would you like to know. Select the question of, so who owns the castle? Bazaar will answer the question but at the expense of two more coins and instead decline saying you're saving your stash for swankies. To which Bazaar will say this. Now could this be the link we all know and love? Well let's find out as Bazaar then says He didn't have enough coins but he seems such a nice fellow that I agreed to accept 500 rupees instead. Guacamele references so many games and characters it's hard to keep up with them all. Plus previously we also visited the game during the Super Mario secrets in other games. But for anything Zelda related, just step into the Combo Chicken's gym. Inside the background is plastered with advertisements including tonight the one and only El Hero. Featuring a representation of Link holding up an item or in this case a man and the Triforce is portrayed behind him. There is also a nod towards Majora's Mask, reading La Mascara. Upon the planet of Trials, unlocked once all three green power stars have been gathered in Super Mario Galaxy, you can visit the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, a nice little challenging number, though forget about rolling on the ball around the first part of the course to knock down the bridge, as this would conceal the secret. So instead, on foot, head to the raised platform and triple jump plus spin to the top ledge. Then carefully manoeuvre towards the edge and look down where a gathering of blue star bits lay below in the form of a rupee. In the campaign mission known as Struck Down in Call of Duty Ghosts, the ghosts are sent in to rescue Ajax held hostage in the San Diego Stadium. 
Not long after eradicating the soldiers by utilising a remote sniper where Ajax is being held, the team will approach a shutter and toss smoke grenades underneath to distract and take down the enemy. From here, hop through the window of a nearby office and glance at the now smashed trophy cabinet where on the second shelf down a rupee shaped trophy rests, inscribed and awarded for most bushes cut and pots smashed. bring our episode to a close, PopCap Games and Electronic Arts bring us Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Released back in 2014, this highly enjoyable online experience brings us two Zelda secrets and in close proximity to one another. As by playing the map, Driftwood Shores featured on gardens and graveyards, head to the marina base where you'll be able to spot a red ship bearing the words King of the Red Dandelions. Named after King of the Red Lions, the boat and character helping us to navigate across the great sea in The Wind Waker. And literally just by looking out to sea at this point, you can make out the silhouette of Outset Island. And this is James and if you ever want to know what else I get up to then you can always find and follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and if you're new to the channel then why not subscribe and become part of the journey as we explore secrets Easter eggs and glitches every single week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video <laughs>